let's find the following limit of the square root of x squared plus x uh, plus x. Here, uh, before we proceed, we note that the domain in this case is minus infinity minus 1 union 0 plus infinity. You can check that by studying the sign of x here. That would satisfy this condition. That means where the square root is defined. The first thing that we notice is that if we take uh, the limit uh, to minus infinity, we see that x will go to minus infinity and this one will go to plus infinity. And therefore we have this form here that we can't conclude about. Okay, so one, one quick way to solve these issues when we have the square root is that we multiply by the conjugate. Okay, and uh, let's do that. So first we're gonna uh, say that this one here, x squared plus x plus x is, if we uh, multiply by the conjugate, so here we have x squared plus x minus x. We have to divide by the conjugate. x squared plus x minus x. Okay. And using the fact here that a plus b times a minus b is a squared minus b squared. In this case, that's what I want you to note here. In, in our case, a is, a is the square root of x squared plus x and b is just x. And here we have this minus that we're going to need here. Okay, this is important rule here to use. Okay, once we do that, we're going to have uh, this one equal x squared plus x minus x. So this is our a squared minus b squared over the square root of x squared plus x minus x. Minus x. Okay, so we simplify we get x over the square root of x squared plus x minus x. Okay, so the limit now, so the limit of the square root of x squared plus x plus x as x goes to minus infinity is this limit here. It's this limit, minus infinity of this fraction now. So now to see that we see that we have minus infinity, if we evaluate minus infinity plus infinity over plus, infi plus infinity. So we need to do some work. One key is that we're going to do some factoring here. So this one is going to be the limit as x goes to minus infinity of x. Here I'm going to factor out by uh, the square root of x squared times 1 plus 1 over x, okay, minus x, okay? So here, the square root of x squared is the absolute value of x, okay? Let's use that. So this is the limit as x goes to minus infinity of x over the absolute value of x times 1 plus x, minus x okay and now note that when x is negative the absolute value of x is minus x if x is negative okay so x is going to minus infinity that means it's negative so we have this limit as x goes to minus infinity it's going to be x over minus x square root of 1 plus x minus x. Okay. One key idea that we need to notice here. So notice what how how I get how I get from here to this minus. Remember that I'm taking x to minus infinity. That means x is negative. The absolute value of x is x if x is positive. And it's minus x if x is negative. This is the one that I used here. Now I can factor out. So this is the limit as x goes to minus infinity. I can factor out by x. Okay. And x is not, uh, 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 not 0. I can cancel out by x. 
okay because it's not zero it's a big negative number so I can cancel out and I get the limit as x goes to minus infinity of 1 over minus 1 plus 1 over x minus 1 here this one the square root of 1 plus 1 over x as x goes to minus infinity is gonna give me 1 and with this minus I'm gonna have minus 1 therefore I'm gonna have 1 over minus 1 here minus 1 which is minus 1 half okay so my limit is minus 1 half see it from here so this limit here after I cancel out by x I will be left with this minus minus square root of 1 plus x minus 1 here as I enter this limit here so I'm gonna get the square root of 1 plus the limit 1 over x which is 0 so I'll have the minus square root of 1 minus 1 which is 1 over minus 2 okay and therefore this limit here is uh, what should I write this one uh, it's uh, it's minus 1 half okay so we had to do a lot of steps to find this limit and the issue is coming from this here, this one here plus infinity minus infinity we can't conclude about this one okay if you see any errors or mistakes please let me know thank you